Hello YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers. John and Lemon Hot here. Now, throughout my work, oh, uh, you know, I can, my mystical glove, I basically have it. I've been looking for these, uh, these, what's called, these ancient relics. One of them basically said to find the cat and dog together. I don't know what that means. Wait a minute, what the hell is this? I mean, do you see it? I think that's one of the ancient relics. Hmm. Seems, you know, it seems to be too easy. Then they said another one near, yeah, you know, well, both of them are like, ah, now I got the riddle, because look at this. Look at this. The second relic. All right. I get to two ring relics. Now I can basically find these, you know, there are these gemstones that basically can give whoever possesses it unlimited power. Whatever that means. If, you know, and, you know, and according to my calculations of what I read in, in this ancient journal, which, well, basically I didn't show you the journal, but it's gone. Because as soon as I read it, it bursted into flames right in my hands. And it, oof, good thing it didn't hurt my hands. And from what the journal, yeah, from what I technically remember from the journal saying that the four mystical gems, one's green, one's yellow, one's white. Yeah, you know, let me do it. Let me do it with the other hand. I put the mystical watch cards. It said to protect me from unknown entities if I want to try to find the gems. And they say, they said that the gemstones are hidden within woods not too far from the cat and dog, yeah, from the cat and dog uh, gems, yeah, from the, you know, from these. Yeah, like these you know, like will protect me from any interpretal danger. The question is, can it basically protect me from AI-11? Hot? Huh? You know, like, I mean, hell, the guy is, you know, the damn witch court, I mean, I don't know who the hell that professor was. He, you know, like, yeah, he, you know, he called me, and I was like, you know, like, you, you got, you, know, you YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members saw him. I mean, saw me on the phone. I was on, on the phone with him. And of course, he told me about an ancient journal and stuff like that, and only pure of what you call it, that basically. But, you know, like I read the book and it just burst into the flames. But the one thing, though, is I think it didn't just burst into flames. I think the book absorbed into me. So now I'm technically the map. And I got to find these four mystical gemstones. One's yellow, which is the gem of spiritual. spiritual. Then there's the second one, which is the stone of greed. Uh, a third one, I think, is... No, no, I got them mixed up. My, my mistake. Um, the white one is, this, you know, like is the stone of spiritual. Then there's another one that's a dark stone. And that's the shadow stone. And then there's... A green one, which is the, you know, like, uh, I, you know, like if I, you know, like if I read, you know, like if I remember part, you know, like I just remember bits and parts, even though it's absorbed, it's like kind of like encrypted into data in my head. It's like really annoying. Um, but the green stone, if I'm mistaken, basically is, it's like the stone of the dead or maybe stone of greed. And then... The yellow one is the sunstone. It's a yellow stone. It's not like any of the other ones. It basically brings eternal, you know, like eternal light to shine through the darkness. So I don't know what that, you know, I don't know what these four stones are gonna do combined with, uh, with these two rings. But basically the journal had a lot of other information that Pretty much didn't make a lot of sense to me when I read it, but you know, I, I'm gonna be looking through woods, you know, like wood territory, to basically find these so-called gems to supposedly 
located somewhere past the cemetery. Sorry, just wiping my iPod touch. It's past the cemetery and into woods. One of them, I don't know. One of them, I don't know what the hell. But I'll basically keep you updated. Until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members, this is General Loving Hot saying peace out. I hope I don't get killed in the woods or the cemetery. <laughs> Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. John Eleven Hot here. I'm in a cemetery. I basically, yeah, I care if you can't say. Um, one of the stones basically said the Shadow Stone will probably be located in a cemetery. This is the only cemetery near woods I can basically think of. I don't see any. Is that garbage? Look at this. Hmm. Oh my god! It, it, but, wow! Now, yeah, this quest is getting easy. I don't know what, you know, I could, this is planted here or what, but look at The dark stone. <sighs> One stone down, four more to, yeah, three more to go. <sighs> now I just gotta look for the sunstone. Although the sunstone shouldn't be anywhere around here. It should be like in the woods with the other, you know, with the, with the, with the other three. With the God, I hate this freaking glove. It's a pain. Yeah, like it's yeah, like okay. So far, I have I had to find four stones. So far, I found one out of four. So now I just got to find the other three, and then figure out from there what to do. The question is, I mean, is it going to be easy? I mean. It, you know, like, this quest is so doggone easy. It's like somebody's planting them. Can't, can't be, you know, like, it can't be AI 11. He, you know, like, he didn't even, he, like, he doesn't even know about. A uh, duh, of course he probably found out because maybe the legend's somewhere online. But I gotta find these stones before nightfall or it's gonna get hard for me to find them. I mean, there's the church. Yeah, you know, like, uh, which is near the cemetery right here, which is awesome. I basically found the shadow stone. Now I basically got to find the you know, like the spirit stone and the sunstone and the green. Those three. And you know, like, I mean, the, you know, like, the question is, are they wrapped in paper towels or napkins or something like that? That was like too easy. I mean, seriously. That was like too easy to basically find that. Way too easy. And I'm like almost near the witch corn. They said that all four stones would be located in woodland areas where evil lies within. Whatever the hell that means. I mean, hey, I'm almost coming up to the opening to the wood path. I, you know, like, I don't know how long this is. I mean... The rings were like a piece of cake. It was like located near a church somewhere, but they were like located separate from one another. It, it's like somebody's planting these items for me to find instantly. Like, like it's too easy. It's just too easy. It can't be AI 11 Hot just planning to attack me unless he basically knows something that I don't know about these so called stones. I mean, oh, I basically got from the journal before it just instantly evaporated into my into my body but the one thing though is it's some of the what you call it doesn't make sense like here you know, like here's the wood path the question is what am I gonna find behind this hopefully I can find hopefully I can find those three stones I need I got the goddamn hand so far I got like one stone, which is the shadow stone, which I found in the grave site. Now I just got to find the other three that are somewhere in this path. I'll keep you posted. Until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network, not PlayStation Network members. 
This is John 11 Hot saying, I'm on the quest to find the four stones to, you know, to destroy AI 11 Hot. Peace out. Oh, and uh, one last thing. I basically saw a lizard over by historical Richmond town. Peace out. That's why I was like, wow. I, mean, like, I was like trying not to like what you want, but I got to find these stones before AI does if he didn't plant them around here. Until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation that members, this is John Eleven Hot saying peace, and I'm out on the quest to find the stones. <laughs> oh, hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and uh, YouTubers. John Eleven Hot here. Yeah, like I came from that pathway from the cemetery where I found the, sh you know, the first stone, the shadow stone. Now I just got to find this other stone. You know, like it's, it says where shadows lie deep within, but not too deep. God, these witchcrafts are so riddleish. It's like childish. It's like a kindergarten made these up. What the hell? I'm telling you, YouTubers and PlayStation Network members, this is this is one easy fucking quest. I mean, I never, you know, I can never think of uh, toilet paper. I, I'm going to show you exactly where I found it. I'm going to put it down. This is exactly where I found this. The question is, what stone is it? Oh my God! It's you know, you know what stone it is. The spirit stone. That's two down and two to go. I gotta tell you, you know, I hope you know, maybe I'll find the other one. While I'm talking to you, YouTubers, you know, like uh Now most of you are probably wondering why I'm looking for these goddamn stones. Well, it's fun ooh, ooh gotta vibrate. Gotta, you know, like, my phone's vibrating. Yeah, you know, like I never keep it on, uh, on which quad. Restricted number. Hello? Yeah, this is he. Come again? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I got, so far I found the guardian rings, the wolf and beast ring. And you're not gonna believe this, but you know, like, this is like the easiest quest I've ever, you know, like I've never, you know, like I've ever been on. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold, 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 hold. What? Yeah, you know, yeah, you're, you're talking too quick. What about AI 11? Uh huh. I mean, I don't see him. I mean, are you really sure that you basically heard that he's uh, alive? I mean, did you check the beach? Okay. So you basically didn't see um, a duplicate body of me, but like all in robotical junky pieces. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, you know, like I'm, you know, like I'm recording this. Is you know, like it's a documentary quest. Just in case uh, something happens to me and nobody finds, uh, finds, finds my, you know, finds me, that they'll probably accomplish this. Uh huh. No, I haven't seen any beast or or ghost or anything around. I mean, yeah, you know, come on. I talked to you the last time, and you basically told me to check out the journal. I came to you, I checked it out, and it, what happened there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. The damn book bursted into my fucking hand, and then for some weird reason, I got these images of where, where the goddamn stones are. And now you're basically telling me that AI is probably hot on my trail following me? I mean, so far, I basically found the Guardian Rings and... Two of the damn stones. I only have like two more stones to find 
and then I'm you know, like them done with this quest, and then we could probably figure some way of completely wiping AI 11 hot out of existence. Period. Uh huh. You heard me. I want to destroy him. I want him gone. I basically don't want him walking around trying to basically kill critics just because he doesn't like how critics think. Why do I want to damn vanish him into another realm or some shit? Because if he's in, like if he's in the, like if he's out of the, like if he's in another realm where he can't do any harm to anybody, it's going to be great. And I don't know how the heck you keep calling me and you know, I can stop. I, you know, your number keeps coming up restricted. You know, I don't know your number. Hello? Hello? God fucking damn. Fucking goddamn prick. He damn fucking hung up on me. That was Dr. Kaskoski or whatever his name was. Yeah, he's the one that basically told me to check out the journal and it bursted up, bursted into flames in my hand. Almost freaking burned myself, and then I kept on getting like, like you heard on in the conversation. Basically, you didn't hear his voice. But, you know, like he talks very lightly. He knows I make YouTube videos, and he knows I'll carry my phone around. <sighs> I gotta tell you, YouTubers, this quest is either getting easier and easier, and the kind of tell you, the doctor basically says that AI knows of this of this quest I'm on. And he's trying to follow me to to find what I'm looking for. Well, this is a dark area right here. I don't understand this. Yeah, like, the doctor said that. Okay. If AI basically knows that I'm on this so-called fucking quest, how come he hasn't shown himself to witch court? Unless he's on the internet basically tracing everything I'm doing. I don't know, YouTubers and PlayStation Network members and YouTube viewers. I don't know. So far, I got like two stones out of four. I basically got... Two more to find, and then I'm done. Then I gotta, you know, like, I gotta. Then I gotta basically dis, dis, you know, I, I try to figure out this riddle of opening the portal to vanish the evil one. Whatever the hell that means. I mean, maybe it means AI. Well, I don't basically know if that was the exact. Deciphering that it yeah you know, that it read. I mean, this quest is really confusing. So far, the rings are the easiest thing. Now the gemstones are getting easier and easier to find. They're like wrapped in t like in tissue. This is getting to be one stupid retarded quest. And I got like two more to go. I mean, is it going to be any easier or is it going to be hard? I don't know. Until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members, this is John Eleven Hot saying, Peace out, yo. I'm going to find those last two gems. Mm. Oh, yeah. Got to find them. Got to record to make sure that AI ain't following me. Hello, PlayStation Network members and YouTubers and YouTube viewers. John Eleven Hot here. I'm still on the quest for the four gems. So far, I found. So far, I found two. I found two of them: the Shadow Stone and the Spirit, you know, the Spiritual Stone. I basically have two more stones to find. One of the stones basically said where shadows lie and dry leaves lay to die. I don't know what the heck that means. Oh wait! I, I, shadows lie. Shadows lie. 
where leaves fall to die. That's gotta be the riddle. I don't see the stone. Hold up. You know, every time I find these, I fucking think of, I'm gonna hear the do 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 do, like the Zelda theme and shit like that, you know? Oh my god, it's the green one. It's the green stone, it's the stone of greed. I don't know what these stones are supposed to do, but there's you know, like there's you know, like there's somewhat of a legend from what I remember di dissect, dice, you know, like pretty much uh, putting together as I've been collecting these. This is the third, you know, the goddamn god. This, you know, like that's third gemstone. That's the third gemstone. So I basically have one more stone, and if I Remember from Dicef Dice I can't pronounce the damn word. I feel so unprofessional with this so called quest. I mean this yeah, you know, this quest basically makes no sense. Some of the rules are so either stupidly hard or basic you know, or basically they make it so easy. Like did these ancient people probably no one it's probably somebody that knew the stones were dangerous. And they just literally hid them in places where no one would think. I mean, heck, if you wrap it in a paper towel, you immediately think it's trash, right? Garbage, woods, no one would think of, hey, there's garbage, it's out of place. Now, from what I basically remember, the you got the last stone, which has got to be the, the sunstone. From what I basically don't understand with the riddle is the... Yeah, you know, the fourth and final stone is apparently supposed to be hidden where two roads lead left and right and one road leading back and the stone will show the way. I don't understand that one. Even if it's part of the riddle or something. I mean, I basically don't see any like two-way road or anything. I mean, look at this. This is all you have here right now so far. I mean, come on. You know, I, I'm walking on this, on this dirt trail right here. This is like obviously making absolute no sense. And, you know, in my last witch court, yeah, like, when I found the, uh, the spirit stone or something. I basically talked to that Dr. Kaskoski or whoever that keeps calling me. I don't know how he called. And he said that AI 11 is aware of my quest. I don't get it. I mean, it can't be possible. Like, I mean, could it possibly be that AI has kind of like evolved or something? I mean, hell, I walked into video games, nearly got my, you know, I got my my butt killed. I mean, the teleport, you know, like, I basically, which I basically tweaked it. So, the exploding into the games and stuff like that, you know, that's how I basically am supposed to warp because the phasing thing seems to be malfunctioning and stuff like that. So, when you saw me get blown up those six times, like, like, blown up, Boulder drop on me, Enterprise disintegrating me, Avalanche, um, and a bunch of boulders, and then drones flying and blowing me up. I mean, that makes no absolute no sense. But basically, from what I remember, in my last, you know, like in that video game warp when I came back, and I found out some information that there was a little bit of a trace of AI 11's uh, signature on the you know, like on the internet. Just don't ask me how. I mean, based, you know, like, although it could have been when I had AI in my computer, he probably hid some of his uh, bits and bytes in the system. 
Oh, my shoulders are hurting. I got I bet. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Me having a Zelda bag. Oh, I'm on a quest looking for stupid stones. Can't get any better than this, right? Oh, at least the good thing is these so-called monsters that are supposed to be guarding it. Well, these rings must be keeping those monsters at bay from trying to attack me from collecting the stones. Unless there's unless there was no monsters to begin with. I don't see anything. But like I heard like, like I thought I heard like a you can't hear it, but yeah, like I can. It's just like a screech noise, like a high pitch. It's like you can't hear it, but I yeah, you know, like I hear it. But yeah, you know, like it won't pick up on on any devices like electronical. I just hope I find this last stone. Then I gotta dissect for the uh, the puzzle where all the four stones are supposed to open the gate to whatever. I don't understand this whole entire quest actually. I basically went to what you call it's a you know, like after that video. He basically called me after it. He basically talks very low because he knows that if somebody's like listening in onto the on the video and they listen clear enough and stuff like that that he'll basically you know, like he'll basically get found out. And but the one thing though is when he spoke to me the first time, he wasn't so afraid, but He's gotten a little precautious. He's like saying that AI, AI 11 is like learning of uh, mystical things. And I'm like, I think that uh, is a little insane in the head. I mean, so far I haven't found this last stone. I, like, I mean, I hope to find it soon. Oh, jeez. This is, like, really hot. Now, some of you are probably wondering why am I going for this quest. Well, if you basically heard in the last one where I basically found the spirit stone, I want AI eradicated, meaning no longer which one. If he has all of his bits and bites into this new body of his... If I could just warp him out. I mean, literally wipe him off the face of the earth completely. I mean, he, you know, once he's gone, and all I have to do is hold on to the stones and be, you know, I can possess them and you know, I can protect them and make sure that the gate never opens. And if it starts opening, I got to close it again. All right, now this is really weird. You hear me walking on this, right? Wait until you see this. This is all gravel. Watch this. A road. A road leading up. The question is, beyond that road, will I find what I'm looking for? The last stone? The fourth stone? Am I gonna find it? I don't know. Until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members, like, uh, this is John Eleven Hot saying, peace out. Let's find the last stone and end this. Period. <laughs> Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers. John Eleven Hot here. I must apologize. I'm out of breath. I've been basically running back and forth. Looking for this so-called left and right road. Although there's like more to the riddle than just that, from what I'm remembering. It also said, it also said, 
The stone in between the three roads will lead the way to the sunstone. Which is the final stone, by the way. Because so far I found like pretty much three stones out of four. This is, yeah. Oh my god, I think this could be it. Straight down that pathway. It looks like a stone, but I can't quite see if, the, if there's like two roads. Let's, yeah, let's just walk. So I've been running back and forth looking for this damn path. Thinking, hey, this stone probably was the easiest. I think this is it. Yeah. This is it. Look at this. There's the stone, I think, if I deciphered the riddle correct, the stone that will lead the way to the sunstone. Because there's the road to the left, road to the right. And this road that I'm walking on is the one that leads three ways. Because look, here's a pathway, pathway, pathway. So this is the three path to, what you call it I think this is it yes yes huh the sunstone it's beautiful isn't it it said with the power of the sunstone and the other the other three? It said with the sunstone and and the other three would open a doorway into like another realm to vanquish any person's enemy permanently. And my only enemy I have is AI. AI eleven basically wants to be dead. He basically tried to. I mean, there's no other option about it, but you know. Oh my, my hand, my fingers. Sorry. It's just that now that I got all, you know, like all four stones, and I, you know, like not only the four stones, the guardian rings, which basically were useless. Because there was like no monsters or anything in these woods protecting the stones. I guess maybe it was an urban legend. You know, like something made to scare people from even searching for these so-called stones. I just don't know why it was so easy to find all four of them. I mean, the legend was true that there were guardians protecting the stones. They pretty much did a terrible job. Hey, wouldn't it be weird if uh, the Guardians were basically Jason from you know, like from Friday the 13th or Michael Myers for that matter, or or better yet, the Slender Man? Woo! I mean, come on. Like, uh, I got all four stones. This is the end of my quest. Now I just got to figure out how to open the gate. And just send AI 11 Hot straight into oblivion where he'll never be seen or heard again. I just gotta make sure that there's no traces of him laying around on the internet. I gotta try to upgrade my super firewall. And if I and if that trace basically keeps that one part of him if he's anywhere in the internet, I'm gonna send a special antivirus program through the internet. Find hit, you know, find the tra any trace of him. If it doesn't find any trace of him, that means that the bits and bytes that he had in the internet is probably in his, you know, like inside of his body, which wasn't found at the beach. From what doc, you know, like from from what Doctor Kaskoski or whatever his name was, basically said. Hold up, phone's vibrating. Hello. Oh yeah, I was just talking about you know. Um, yeah, yeah, I found all four stones. Can you believe it? What? Hold on.
Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, you heard me right. I said I found all four stones. Why, like, why? You sound a little dis disappointed or something like, like about it. Uh huh. Am I making, like, am I recording this? Yeah. Uh huh. Um. No, I haven't seen AI 11 follow me anywhere. I did hear, like, a loud screech noise. My viewers basically didn't hear it. But I heard it. And I, could that have been him, though? I mean, you did say he upgraded himself somehow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, quick little question. Yeah, like some of the stones were a little slightly partly damaged, which I noticed a few of them. Especially the sunstone. Is that normal? Okay, so that's normal for it to be witch called because it's, it's an ancient relic. Okay. As long as it doesn't drop any witch core, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to sell these relics to anybody. They're dangerous. Uh huh. Yeah, I've been trying to decipher that, uh, that witch call to opening the gate to eliminate one's enemies. I don't understand that. Oh, you don't understand it either? I mean, is there any trace of it on, on the internet or something? No? Huh. So, basically, AI probably has the information I'm looking for, but I don't think he's going to just come up to me and try to witch call Unless he wants to, like, uh, to find me and, uh, take the gems for himself. I mean, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm still walking. What? You want me to stop walking? If I don't stop walking, I'm not going to be able to get, get out of the, out of the woods. Uh-huh. All right, I'm stopped. What? Uh huh. All right, you know, don't don't stop walking. Just try to get out into an open space where there's a ton of people. I mean, I basically saw like a couple of people back there, but I don't think they're coming from behind me. Uh huh. Okay, so just get out of these woods and be out in the open where uh, my where you know, like where AI can't basically find me or won't even plan on killing me in front of a ton of people. Um, professor, you know, like, I'm, oh, wait, no, not professor. Can I call you a professor? Because I can't pronounce your full name. Okay. So, professor it is. Um, can you basically do me a little favor? I, you know, like, I know you always hang up before I basically even get to ask you any more questions. Uh-huh. Oh, there's like a couple of people walking talking to me. So I'm a little safe. Am I? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah. They just passed me, they just walked by me, yeah. Hello? Oh, I thought, you know, like I thought you hung up. Because normally you hang up because you don't want anybody knowing, knowing that you're on the phone with me or anything. I don't even know how you got my number. But, you know, like, can you basically do me a quick little favor? Um, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, can you basically find more information about AI's uh, whereabouts and where I can find them and probably banish him? Okay, I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, that was the professor. He basically said to get out of here as fast as I possibly can. If that's remotely possible. He basically said to go out into the open. Where, yeah, out in the open. Hello? If I go out in the open, AI is bound to possibly be out waiting for me to collect the stones and try to destroy me and throw me into an oblivion. He basically said it himself that he wanted to destroy me. I mean, seriously? Well, until next time, YouTube viewers, hopefully I find a way out of here. Until next time, viewers and PlayStation Network members, 
This is John Ungerman Hart saying, peace out. <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah, hello YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. John Eleven Hot here. Oh, by the way, I took my glove off. Hey, I put it with the stones along the uh, rings that were on this hand. Now I just gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, and my last witch card, um, you had the so-called professor basically told me that AI basically knows what the stones are capable of. There was like a lot of stuff that he mentioned, and of course I asked him to do me a little favor, like as to find out if, about AI's whereabouts, and for, you know, during the conversation, you had somebody else was trying to call me, so I just ignored them. I mean, this is really big. If I don't, you know, and of course the professor basically said, go out into the open. Well, I'm trying to find a way out of here. There's only one way. Follow this path I'm on. Out of here. Or, find a shortcut. Which is going to probably be dangerous if I go off the path. But I need to get out of here fast. Warp speed. I mean, you know, finding all four of those stones, including the guardian, the guardian, you know, the guardian uh, charms. The guardian charms are the first thing that basically was so easy to find. I mean, hell, basically they were both together. Although it did make a lot of, you know, like it did make quite sense, a lot of sense, a lot of sense. Now all I basically had to do. Hmm. I should go in this path. This path leads somewhere. Instead of going straight that way. I hear buses and stuff, so I'm gonna take this path over here. But it'd be so much easier if I was recording this with a video camera. I mean I have it on me, but I mean you know, like uh I refuse to use it because I don't you know, like I like you know so I'm basically using an iPod Touch. Ooh, this path's really rough. Look at this. Wow, a bridge. You see that? I don't know. You know like, I don't know if you can see it beyond the, the trees. But we're coming up to it, and I hear cars. So I'm getting closer to getting out of here. So it's a lot easier. It's not like AI is waiting at an entrance because you know, me and him, we basically are on the same wave patterns. But sometimes I'm able to block him by throwing him off. So if he basically still is on the wavelength somewhere in, you know, like in, in cyberspace, tracking my movements, I mean, hell, I basically have my computer. Look at this, we're on a bridge. I think now would probably be a good time for me to check the internet, although I can't. I don't have no way over which code, which is good because then AI can't basically trace me if I have no internet traces, which is good. So, I basically gotta just try to get out of here. Because the professor basically said to get out into the open where there's a lot of people. So, you know, I, I mean, yeah, there was a couple of people that were walking by me and you saw it in the back of me when I pulled the camera when I was on the phone with the so-called professor. But, you know, he said, if I'm in a witch court area, because if I have my computer, you could basically trace my computer, <coughs> goddamn bugs. You can trace the computer, which called, but if I'm out in a, like, a, oh, an electronic area where there's a lot of electronics, mainly Best Buys, a uh, duh. Where else would I possibly go to basically throw mechanical virusing menace off? Of course, you don't do it in the woods. Especially when you got a computer on you, where they, you know, like where he can be traced. Especially if he's in cyberspace. <sighs> oh man, everything's got to be an obstacle for me. Cause like a down to tree, I gotta climb through. Oh my god, it's 
like this damn quest never ends. I just, you know, like I basically got all four of the stones. Now I just gotta uh, move through this tree. Could basically see this is where I had to walk through. Still have more to go. Oh, climbing over trees. Ugh. Somebody's gotta clear that. Look at that. I just climbed right through that. It's like this quest is so awesome. I mean, it's been really fun walking through woods looking for gemstones. All right, I should come forward to why I've been looking for these four legendary stones. Legend says that many years ago, there were four sages that created these stones. The stun, you know, the stun stone will keep any forces from the from the realm from coming out. The shatter stone would open the gate along the stone of greed and the spirit stone. But the stun stone would keep the spirit, you know, the shadow realm spirits from coming out. Now, if I push, if I just push AI right into the, you know, like into the into it, he'll vanish completely. I mean, he'll be nothing more but but a memory. And I'm hoping it just works, you know. AI's been basically tormenting me the last few months or so since our, you know, like our first encounter. He's been trapped in cyberspace. And from what I found out, he's walking around. I guess he's still connected, but the one thing though is I haven't, I haven't seen any traces of him. Maybe he, like he said, like from what I heard, he's basically somewhere in the internet. And maybe his mechanical body is like a probe. So it's just, I don't know. Maybe he's got nanites. I don't know. But, you know, anyway, everything, like, what matters is I got the four stones. I just got to damn find a way to open the portal. I mean, there's a way to basically track a tracking, a tracking succulation spell that basically will tr throw AI right into the portal. Even if he's in cyberspace, he'll be sucked in. But if uh, AI basically gathers any, like, computerized virusing data, he can basically make his own way out. That's why I got to try to make sure before I conjure up the, the tracking suction of enemies into, you know, like into the portal, I got to make sure that I say the right words and I, you know, like you know, like I got to make sure I say it right. I can't do it here because I gotta make sure that AI basically doesn't have any way of getting back back to this realm. So I basically gotta make sure that he doesn't have any way of getting out, like any spell to protect him from getting sucked out of the internet or out of um or basically finds a way to get out of the you know, out of the never realm portal or something. So, you know, I basically got to just do that. If I put like an antivirus program to protect the internet from him basically using any informationable data and uses that as a, what you call it, because there could possibly be a way that he's using that information. He's planning to see if the real thing can hold up against the, the fake, like a non-creatable version of it. Yeah. Oh boy. Great civilization at last. <sighs> okay. Of course, now I'm out. I'm out of the woods. Now I just gotta get into an open area where there's tons of electronic stuff, and I'll be safe. He'll never be able to find me. But if he's in the computer, but the one thing though is once my computer gets shuffled up with other ones, He'll like go to witch court, and then by the time he even finds me out, he'll be yeah, he'll be trapped in that area too, so long. Because but the one thing though is, I gotta just block my brainwave patterns from him. Whew. Oh boy.
But I'm basically gonna keep you YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members uh, up to date with that. Until next time, peace out. I gotta hide. <laughs>
Yeah, like I'm gonna probably be uh, somewhere um, over the weekend. Very busy. Very busy. Mm -mm. Can't do it tomorrow. I got laundry to do. Um, I guess we could probably do that day, yeah. Friday sounds like an excellent idea. Alright, so we'll probably do it either Friday, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Um, maybe you can just get, get all the information out and just put it on a, on a disc so I can check it out. Or, as soon as we get it out, maybe make like a new journal. One that's secure. I'll, like I'll place a mystical spell on it. And no one can touch it but me. Okay. We'll do it either Friday or something. I go sometime over the weekend. Okay. Talk to you then. Bye bye. Got the cat. <clears throat> well, the professor basically um, developed some sort of device um, that we're going to try on um, um, the. Like, uh, suck the data that's been building up. It's like been adding into a million pieces um, but you know, like, it, you know like from what I they suffered in my mind with with the, you know, like with the journal that bonded with me for some reason like it you know, like it's like the journal didn't want to be to suffered by anybody but me but the more that's in my body and in my mind it's it's just doing so much damage and good that's my cat making a noise. Um, but it's like driving me crazy. Um, it's like a lot of it's not making sense. It's like talking about another set of four gems, but I don't know. Um, it's even talking about a fifth gem that I never even heard of. Um, the Lovelust Stone. It's like a pinkish type of color stone. I don't know. It's just a lot of this uh, stuff is not making sense uh, to me at all. But, you know, um, the double sword um, need a lot of sense. It's you know, It mentions about the dragon fangs blades. They're, you know, they're not together, they're separate. Um, but they can be found together somewhere but it just doesn't mention anything about it in the in the serpent's the serpent bleed sword that one I don't know where um just feels so weird we found a lot of hair um but you know I'll keep you posted on on my on my quest Hopefully, uh, AI doesn't try taunting me on this, you know, like at the end of this video. If not, then that means he's probably out of the system seeking whatever. Probably trying to find the stones. I got the four of them. I got the four of them. Well, until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members, this is John Levin Hot saying, peace out, yo. Shadowstone. Oh, um, hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers. John Eleven Hot here. I was just admiring the stones that I collected um, from my quest uh, last weekend. A lot of them don't basically make sense. Like the Shadowstone, it's not actually dark. It's like a brownish color. Then of course um, I got the the spirit stone, aka the soul stone, and the green stone, which is called the stone of greed. Then finally, finally, the sunstone, which um, you know, which I basically noticed something about these, you know, like about this. I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna show you comparison compared to this and this. See the comparison? This one's like a little smaller than than this. And this. And this. Now also, I basically ended up reading false information from the book that just 
blew up in my hand, just evaporated into my into my body and went into my mind. Um, there was no two swords or a serpent sword. It was just one sword in particular, which I basically did on a private quest. I couldn't I couldn't record it because there was like a lot of uh, interference uh, when I you know, like when I went for the quest for the sword and the yeah, you know, and it's the quest for the dragon sword. Yeah, you know, the legend says that the you know, that the dragon sword, aka also called the dragon blade, basically has some kind of properties with one of these, yeah, you know, with this, yeah, you know, with a few of the stones that basically give the sword ultimate power beyond one's uh, one's comparison, and it also said that's also some way to basically open the portal to um the vanquishing one's enemies but you know like, i didn't figure out um all the other information you know, like why was it false i really don't you know, like i really don't understand that And I mean, another thing, like I said before, I don't, I don't understand why the sunstone is like the smallest, while the other three stones are like this size. It's weird. Sorry about that. Um, I haven't heard from the professor since I, which call because when I went on the, the private quest for the sword, which um was found uh, where I basically stashed uh, AI-11's robotic corpse, but, you know, um, I don't know. Um, the professor basically told me he hasn't seen any traces of AI-11 on, on the internet or anywhere, so I don't know what's going on there, so um, he hasn't called me. Like, I had my yeah, you know, I got my phone charging just in case he does call. But you know, I doubt that he's gonna call me. Um, he basically, he basically, you know, like I'm. Oh, quick! No, I have been working on the um the teleporter to basically uh, teleport into um the game again. Of course, um, I'm probably going to down the road basically try a little something. A little something with the um, with one of the stones and see if they you know combine with one of them if they can take the PlayStation home directly and not cause me to get into like another game or something to just go straight to PlayStation Home or something because I would love to go back on PlayStation Home it was like peaceful and quiet although I didn't mind um, being put into those games like Grand Theft Auto 4 I mean, you know, like, um, it's, like, pretty awesome, you know, like, you know, like, except for the last teleportation that I did where I ended up in Arkham City as Catwoman, uh, still, tr still trying to, re you know, like, still trying to revive from, from that terrible ordeal. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but, whew, being, you know, like, being in a woman's body, yeah, kind of freaky. And of course, there was like subtitles. I was like, what the hell is this? Even though I wasn't looking down at them. But I'm hoping that one of these stones basically uh, can help me. I mean, I'm thinking if I go on, on a witch card, I'm probably going to use one of these stones. But I just got to hope I don't lose them when I go in. And, you know, I, and I got to hope and pray I come out. So when I try them. I go into those games again. I'm gonna have to check my pockets. I mean, I might probably even do today, possibly. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. Um. Let's see. I yeah, you know, like I wonder. I really do wonder. 
wonder why it's called the sunstone. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I hold it in my hand. My head! It's on fire! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, shit! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, hot! Ah! Oh, motherfucker! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Well, at least that closed it off. Ah! Now it's just raining and it's thundering. Jesus! Ah! Uh, soul stone. Okay, good. I basically got rid of that. Well, at least now we know that the song is kind of working there. Weird, twisted way. Like now, I'm just, like, now I'm holding the sunstone again. <sighs> so let's see. From crushing it, I basically end up getting a huge flame on my head. <sighs> I wonder what happens if I just try to push down on it. Yeah, you know, something you know, the good way to put the fire out. Now I just gotta stop that. I gotta be careful with how I use these damn stones. Oh my god. Okay, so we know we know not now like, we know not to like go like this. Ah! Shoot! Oh! <sighs> you know, the thing is, what? You know, like, what's this one do? Take, take it. It's like this one doesn't seem to do much. Smoke coming out of my ears. Weird. The soul stone seems to like stop all the magic properties together. That's weird. The soul stone basically has the properties to basically cancel out. <sighs> it seems to cancel out all the other. Magic properties, but it doesn't have its own magical except for canceling. Pretty cool. At least I know about the one thing on What would happen? Ooh, not doing that again. I bet put these stones away. And if I do end up going in the game, I'm going to use one stone at a time. Although, technically, all these stones would probably be good to basically use you know, like, um, in the games. And stuff like that. We better not crush this one again. It's gonna rain on my head with lightning. That's worse. It's like, <sighs> but this one just did steam out of my ears. I don't know why. I just don't know why those ones basically did. What? Why does this have cancellation properties and not like? One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Oh god, I feel like I'm watching Sesame Street. <sighs> I mean, the sunstone seems to be the smallest, but you would think that, you know, although it's, yeah, it's obvious that the sunstone basically has fire properties, while the, I, would, I was thinking that this stinking stone of greed basically would make money fall out. Money. Mother! Hmm. I better put the. I better put it in with the other ones. But I'm basically gonna try the teleportation. But I need the. As you basically saw, um, in the teleportation video, I had to wear like a like my white outfit and everything.
I just gotta see, like, I got, like, you know, I just gotta see how that works out and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably gonna get blown up or something. I don't know. Um, well, until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers, this is John Lovin Hot saying, "Peace out." I'm on, like, I'm gonna be jumping into games again very soon.